This video introduces the Nyquist stability criteria. So far then, we've demonstrated how to sketch Nyquist diagrams and how to define encirclements. And now what we want to do is get to the end point, which is say, how can we use these for feedback loop analysis and design? So this video is going to introduce the Nyquist stability criterion, which uses, and this is really important that you remember this, it uses open loop Nyquist plots in order to make inferences about closed loop stability. So that's a common mistake students uh, make. It's getting mixed up between closed loop and open loop. So the Nyquist plot is based on the open loop, but from that we make inferences about the closed loop. Now, this video is going to give a simple derivation of the Nyquist stability criteria. Um, and most students will only need to memorize the result. It's unlikely that anyone would ask you to derive it. So background. The previous video showed that if you were doing a Nyquist diagram and you were doing a Nyquist diagram of a particular transfer function, for every right half plane zero, you would get one clockwise encirclement of the origin. And for every right half plane pole, you would get one anticlockwise encirclement of the origin. Now, we also know that there's a strong link between closed loop and open loop. So here it is. If the open loop is GK, then the closed loop is GK over 1 plus GK. That's for obviously for a simple feedback loop. And we also know that the closed loop poles can be determined by therefore solving GK equals minus 1. Now, what's more important is perhaps this next line. Let's assume that GK can be written as a numerator over a denominator n over p0. Then it's very easy with some simple algebra to show that 1 plus gk equals n plus p0 over p0, which is pc over p0. Now what's the significance of this? Okay, First, we've used 1 plus gk, and second, you'll see pc represents your closed loop poles, and p0 represents your open loop poles. So you'll notice that 1 plus gk, so 1 plus the open loop, gives you closed loop poles divided by open loop poles. And the key thing you also notice, there's no mention of the zeros. They don't come into this. The zeros have disappeared. So here we go, a summary of what we just said. Um, 1 plus gk is given by pc over po. Now, if we're going to link ourselves to Nyquist diagram, we will also remember that only right half plane factors lead to encirclements. So what I'm going to do is I'm define n0 to be the number of open loop right half plane poles. So there's two things in there you've got to concentrate on. It's open loop, but also we're only counting right half plane poles. nc is going to be the number of closed loop right half plane poles. And you'll notice NC is based upon PC, NO is based upon PO. Now, if we go back to what we know about encirclements, then if we were to do a Nyquist diagram of 1 plus GK, then we know we must get NC minus NO clockwise encirclements of the origin. Why is that? Because PC is in the numerator. And for every right half plane factor in the numerator, you get a clockwise encirclement. PO is in the denominator. And for every right half plane factor in the denominator, you get an anticlockwise encirclement. Now, here's the clever bit. I don't want to plot 1 plus GK. I just want to plot GK. So if 1 plus GK is giving encirclements of the origin, then GK will give the same encirclements of the minus one point. So in other words, we're going to get NC minus NO encirclements of the minus one point. So here's the summary. Nyquist stability criterion. Define NQ to be the number of clockwise encirclements of minus one. That's really key. We're counting clockwise encirclements of minus one. NO is the number of right half plane open loop poles. NC is the number of right half plane closed loop poles, and these three numbers are related by this formula here, 
NQ equals NC minus NO. And you'll notice what we've said here is you should memorize this formula. It's unlikely you'll have to derive it, but you will need to use it. So it's far better just to memorize it. So NQ equals NC minus NO. So there's the Nyquist stability criterion. Now, if you want to be closed loop stable, you must have NC equals O because NC is the number of closed loop right off plane poles. OK, so NC equals zero implies that NQ must be minus NO. So the number of encirclements of the minus one point um, has to match the number of open loop right half plane poles, but the key thing, because you've got a negative there, is the encirclements have to be counterclockwise or anticlockwise. And the other thing you might want to note at the bottom is most systems are open loop stable, so NO is zero. And what this means is closed loop stability, you require no encirclements of minus one. That's the most common scenario. So some questions just to check you can do this right. How many open loop right half plane poles do the following systems have? And the key thing here is the emphasis is on poles. So zeros are irrelevant and that might catch some people out. OK, so all we're counting is the right half plane poles. So this one, clearly the first one, you see the answer zero. This one's right half plane. This one's right half plane. This one here. Both poles are right half plane, so the answer is zero. This one here, you see all three poles are right half plane, the answer is zero. And you'll notice, if I cross them out, I really don't care what's in the numerator. It's not relevant to this count, because I'm only counting right half plane poles. This one down here is zero. Now you'll notice there's an integrator here, but there's a note at the bottom. In this count, integrators are considered as left half plane. OK, so you can ignore those. This next one, you see we've got zero. This next one, we've got zero. This next one, we've got zero. And you see a common trend here. Right half plane poles in the open loop are quite rare. However, we've now got to one where there is one. So this one, we've got one right half plane pole. This one, we've got one right half plane pole. There it is. And this last one, we've got one right half plane pole. So a summary. You should always sketch the Nyquist diagram for the loop transfer function or open loop. If the system is open loop stable, i.e. it's got no right half plane open loop poles, then you are closed loop stable if and only if the Nyquist diagram has no encirclements of the minus one point. So that's the most common scenario. You want no encirclements. If a system is open loop unstable, then you're closed loop stable if and only if the Nyquist diagram has NO counterclockwise encirclements of the minus one. So NO is the number of open loop right half plane poles. Now, as an aside, if you want to know the number of closed loop right half plane poles, you can get it from this formula here, which you'll see is just a rearrangement of the formula we had earlier. NC equals NQ plus NO.